So after you climb up Peekaboo Gulch, this video hopefully shows the boulder issue and the narrow issues in the bottom of Spooky Gulch and the difficulty. After driving the Horn Rock Road over 20 miles, you reach the trailhead for Peekaboo and Spooky Gulch, which is a loop hike of about 5.7 miles in length. There's a bunch of warning signs there about safety, carrying enough water, and avoiding flash floods. into the wash where the gulches exist. Sand, buddy. After ascending up and through Peekaboo, you begin the descent down Spooky after hiking across the top. The descent down into the wash into Spooky Gulch. This is Spooky Gulch. It's pretty narrow. Halfway through the gulch, you reach the boulder issue, which has a significant drop. One time this year I had a rope, the other time it didn't. After traversing the border section, which is not easy, you enter the lower sections of the gulch, which get very, very, very narrow um, to traverse, requiring crawling at one point. This is like a hand with a cross. That's good. We've been in the sink for like an hour and a half. I think so. Oh man, look at that mess. Not up the high end, I'm gonna have to crawl. Oh, want me to carry your back? After traversing the lower sections of the gulch, you have to hike along the uh, wash and then back up to the rim country to reach the trailhead. Please check out my other video of Peekaboo Gulch, the climb up to Spooky Gulch, if you're interested in seeing its challenging beginning section. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.